Now, I don't know if it's just me, Kyle Abbott, but the first time I saw Aesugi Bori, I was fooled by the optical illusion that's created from the camera and the lighting against the herringbone pattern. You see, when I first saw it, uh, well, it was online, and at the time, 2005, 2006, there was very little information about shamisen building. Pretty much none, even in Japanese. There was just a small uh, Tokyo tourism video on the newly created YouTube that showed, you know, uh, craftsmen in the workshop, as well as just a few small images on the Googles. Uh, besides that, nothing at all. So, from the only images of Aizugi I could see, it really looked like actual mountains and valleys, as it were. With nothing else to go on, and hearing that it makes uh, an actual noticeable improvement in sound quality, I had no other reason than to think that it must be an immense change in the dough cavity shape. So, the second dough I made was this. With actual physical mountains and valleys, 3D Aizugi. Uh, shortly after finishing this, with great pride and satisfaction, uh, Kevin Metz brought over Nita Masahiro-san for the first time. Having a desire to you know, spread shamisen across the world, he was very moved by my sincere interest in building and playing shamisen. So he took his out, turned the dough over, and on his backside he has a plate that was removable. He did so, and I could see the actual Aisugi. Absolutely no 3D zigzags like this, but just these shallow lines across the dough. Needless to say, I was mystified slash mortified. And it took a little while to realize I misread the pics. Uh, so, long story short, after a good cry, I made another dough, which this has the shallow lines and close to Aizugi as I could get. And this, in the meantime, has been sitting in my drawer, unskinned for the past 15 years. Uh, recently, we did that sound test comparing Aizugi Bori with uh, smooth dough. So I figure, you know, as long as that's on the air, why not compare uh, regular Aizugi with 3D Aizugi? Now, there's going to be a few differences, of course. One, the shape of the dough, the size, is a bit different. This is a Tsugaru size 5 dough. It's a bit smaller, wider difference. The inside cavity is also curved a bit differently. So we've got the depth of the curve, the shape of the dough, um, arguably the hardness of the wood as well. These are all factors that uh, we didn't have in the previous Aisugi Kimbozo sound test. Uh, but hey, let's have some fun with this. I'll get this skinned up and we'll hear how it sounds. And here we have it, 3D Aisugi. Hop. Standard 2D Aisungi. Hop. And there we have it. I think you probably noticed that the 3D Aisungi has a much, much warmer, deeper tone than the normal stuff. Um, that, I believe, is due to two reasons. One, the skin is a little looser, but more importantly, the dough is relatively deeper, the inside curve, that is. Back in the 70s and 80s, when Sugaru Jamisen was becoming a thing, the dough actually used to be deeper on the inside. 
But as players began wanting a sharper, brighter tone, uh, the skinners, they had to stretch the skins much tighter to get to achieve that sharp sound and they were breaking skins and such. So the makers began making the dough with a much shallower curve inside. However the physics goes, the shallow depth allowed a bright, sharp tone to be achieved with much less skin tension, or relatively less skin tension. So that's what we hear on the rows. For this 3D Aisungi dough, basically the peak of the mountain is where the, the curve of the dough would normally end. So with this, we're going there and then scooping it out so much deeper. So it's, yeah, no, no wonder that this has a much deeper, warm, and overall, let's say, dull tone. But hey, we learned something. Kyle Abbott. I mean, I tried clicking and then it didn't work. Well, I don't know what you did because I'm taking the video right now. That's surprising. What'd you, what'd you do? I didn't, I nothing, I just pressed it. I pressed it briefly. I mean, I didn't hold it this down. This is what I did. Well, first I...